Hello, my name is Fiona, and I am a certified teacher and a Praxis coach with Study.com. If you are preparing to take the Praxis Elementary Education, Math, Numbers, and Operations, Test 5003, then let's review some of the types of operations and rational number questions you may encounter on the exam. Let's get started. Which of the following best represents the decomposition of the number 9,654? Let's first look at the definition of decomposition. Decomposition is the breakdown of numbers into parts. Decomposing numbers help students develop number sense and understand place value. So let's look at the number again. We've got nine in the thousands place. We've got six in the hundreds place. We've got five in the tens place. And we have four in the ones place. All right, now let's look at our options. First one is 90,000. So our number only goes up to 9,000. So right away, this is not the correct answer. The second one. 9,000 plus 600 plus 50 plus 4. So this looks to be the correct answer. It's exactly the same as what we found here. Now let's look at the other two just to see where they went wrong. All right, 9,000 is correct. 600 is correct. 50 is correct. But it's 40, so that's tens, not ones. So that is incorrect. And lastly, 9,000 is correct. 600 is correct. 5,000 is thousands, not tens. So it is not correct. And 4 is the one, so it is correct. But overall, it's not. So this is our answer. Which of the following is the greatest? One seventh, negative one half, one sixth, or one fifth? Now, right off the bat, we can eliminate the negative number. When the remainder of the options are positive, the negative number cannot be the greatest. So let's get rid of that one. Now, our other ones that are left are one seventh, one sixth, and one fifth. And the rule is if the fractions have the same numerator, so that's the top number, then the fraction with the lowest denominator, that's the lower number, the bottom number, is the greatest. So in this case, we do have the same numerators and the lowest number of amongst the denominators is five. So that would mean that one fifth is our answer. Let's look at the visual I created. And one fifth is in fact the largest visually. So one fifth is the correct answer. According to the place value chart, which of the following answer choices is the value of the digit that is directly to the left of eight tens? Let's look first at how to read the place value houses. So we've got the millions house, the thousands house, and the ones house. So we can see that the numbers get larger as we go to the left and smaller as we go to the right. So we are asked for the digit that is directly to the left of eight tens. This is the tens, this is eight. So this is the starting point. Now we're going to look directly to the left and the digit is three and the value is hundreds. So our number, the value of the digit as asked, 
the value of the digit is 3 times 100, which is 300. All right, now let's look at our options. 800. Incorrect. Hundreds, well, that's the place value that is not the complete answer. So that is not the case. Two, that is ones, so that is not the case either. And 300, that is indeed the correct answer. Which of the following rounds 0 0.1874724 to the millionths place? All right, let's take a look and break it down into place values. So the ones place is zero. Tenths is one. Eight is the hundredths. The thousandths is seven. Ten thousandths is four. One hundred thousandths is seven. Millionths is two and 10 millionths is four. Now again, we are asked to round to the millionths place, and this is the millionths place. So we have to look to the number to the right, which is four, and we ask, is it five or greater? And the answer is no, so the two stays as a two. It doesn't need to be rounded up, and the number becomes 0 0.187472. That is this number rounded to the millionth place. Now let's look at the answers that we can choose from. 0 0.187472. That only takes it to the 100 thousandths place, so that is not correct. 1,874,724 is far too large of a number. It's in the one millions, not the one millionths, so that is incorrect as well. 0 0.187472 is exactly what we have here. So that is probably our answer. And let's look at the last one just to make sure. 0 0.1874724. That is the number before it was rounded. So that is not the correct answer. So indeed, this one is our correct answer today. I hope I was able to answer your questions so that you can get a better understanding of the topics you can expect to find on the test. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel so that with study.com's help, you will feel confident and prepared on exam day. Bye for now.